Oh, it's that time of year again, folks. Hey, everybody. Jay Ball, Blue Jays Outdoors. Hope you guys are having a great day. Appreciate you hanging out with me. And uh, as you can tell, this is a pretty good size uh, box. And um, actually, Tackle Warehouse had a pretty cool spring sale going on a week or so ago. And uh, definitely had to stock up on some of my favorite baits. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go through all of my uh, purchases. And this is a really good time of year to stock up on uh, your tackle for spring, summer, even fall. You know, as the seasons start to, to progress and the water starts to warm up, um, you know, little things like trying to pick up your favorite soft plastics like flatworms. I mean, it's really difficult to get some of those baits when the season is hot and heavy. Uh, maybe even picking up your favorite frog, your favorite clickbait, or whatever it might be. So my suggestion to you is even though it's winter time here in, in the uh, northern part of the country, uh, definitely time to uh, stock up. So, um, wow. <laughs> there's, there's a ton of stuff in here. And you know what we're going to do is I'm going to do a giveaway. So if you guys hang out with me throughout this video, I'm going to give away some stuff. Um, you know, got, got a shirt and I got a hat. So if you guys want a, a free shirt or a free hat, let's, uh, I'll do a giveaway. But um, yeah, there's a ton of stuff in here. I'm just going to go ahead and dump this out. So yeah, um, <laughs> uh, it is that time of year, right? Let's be honest. So all right where am i going to start let's uh let's get everything organized real quick and and once we do that i'll kind of break down for you guys why i got what i got so uh, hold tight let me let me get everything organized for you Wow, I think I'm uh, hopefully stocked up for maybe at least uh, half the year. Um, what I'm going to do is I will basically just start from left to right or your right to left and just talk to you guys about you know why I picked up these baits, how I'm going to use them, and then for a few of these baits I've actually got some fish catches that I will uh, show you, uh, try to show you some of those. So let's first start off with the um, this Power Swimmer. So this is a 4.3 uh, Power Swimmer from Berkeley. And the reason why I picked this bait up is Dylan Grove from Extreme Outdoorsman and I are going to be doing a ton of smallmouth fishing this year in uh, uh, the Great Lakes and then also in Lake St. Clair. And one of his favorite colors to use is this uh, Sexy Shad color. And uh, I would definitely want to pick up some of these. So I've got, I think, four different packs of these. Yeah, so I've got four different packs. He tends to, to wear them out. Um, I did pick up actually some, this is the French Pearl, I think, is what this color's called. And the reason why I picked this one up is because you guys know I'm going to uh, dye this pink. But um, I also, you know, one of the things I like about these baits, um, it's going to be a little bit hard to open, but it's got these ribs. I don't know if you guys can see these ribs on here, but I like to add scent to all of my baits. And uh, what I'll be probably doing is adding the Lure Lipstick Crawfish Jelly to these baits. And those ribs that you can see inside of those baits actually holds that scent really well. So... I'm going to start off this spring using those uh, pro, uh, those power swimmers. And then I was actually watching uh, MLF a couple weeks ago, and I saw them use these um, these speed boss worms. I don't know if you guys have ever seen, seen these before, but dragging these along the top of grass mats, you know, Texas rig with maybe like a 3 16 tungsten or 8 ounce tungsten. So I'm going to give these a try. And I picked these up in the green pumpkin, not just because it's probably one of the best colors ever made. Um, but what I like to do with my green pumpkin uh, lures is actually like to dip the claws of these lures in pink spike it dye and it turns them orange. So it gives them a little bit of a color contrast. So picked up two packs of those. I obviously picked up some power jerk shads uh, in the white and then also in the uh, Houdini, which is a really cool color. And the reason why I did this is because last year, and I'll show you guys a couple fish catches here in just a second, Dylan and I did a ton of fishing in some super shallow water in northern Michigan using these uh, jerk shad style baits or um, fluke style baits, whatever you want to call them, just Texas rigging them, weightless, fishing them in really, really shallow reeds. I started off using fluorocarbon, but then I switched to braid, uh, pink power, or uh, pink um, beyond braid, uh, just because 
the reeds where the fish were at was really, really heavy. And a lot of times you get some of the bigger fish and you can't yank them out of there. So that paint camel beyond braid was some really good stuff. Glad I upgraded to that. So let me show you a few fish catches of me catching fish on these, uh, you know, fluke style baits, these power jerk shads. And then I'll get into these last two baits, uh, why I picked up these ones. So check these fish catches out. Hold that fire, just caught a nice one. Yeah, hold on. So there's a very first one ever on the pink and white jerk shad from Berkeley. So I dipped it in a pink spike at dye. Got a nice golden fall largemouth, beautiful fish up here, a little bit shallower water. So get some pictures and get her back in the water. But uh, yeah, bite's still on. Just out outside working these outside reeds right here. And I went to go pull it out of the water and that fish absolutely smashed it. So get some pictures and get her back. The next couple baits I picked up, I got to give a big shout out to Benjamin Nowak. Um, he turned me on to these, what are called little troopers. And these are little Ned style baits uh, for Ned fishing. And they're little crawfish. And I, I picked up uh, some of these, uh, pl the blue pearl hologram. And the reason why I picked these ones up is because I dye these in uh, pink spike of dye. And yes, fish will bite a, a pink little trooper. So I got them in pink. And then I got them in black, and then I also got them in green pumpkin. So these three colors are pretty much going to be my go-to style baits uh, for, for Ned rig fishing, especially later in the year when the fish get really uh, pressured, get a little really lethargic. So let me see if I can find a fish catch and show you guys me actually catching a, a smallmouth bass on Lake St. Clair not with a pink little trooper. Let me see if I can uh, show you guys a fish catch from this past summer where I caught some fish on these little guys. Check this out. So before we get too too far in the video, I, I wanna show everyone what I'm doing to turn a lot of these baits pink because um, I, Benjamin Nowak, big shout out to him. He's actually been crushing some big smallmouth up in Northern Michigan on these little troopers. And I wanted to get some of these uh, blue pearl black hologram uh, cause I'm gonna dye these pink. They don't have a straight right, white one. So I've got these and then also the uh, Berkeley flatworms. And what I'm doing is I'm actually hooking the baits on the lure first and then I'm dipping in them in pink spike at dye. And you know, like I mentioned in my intro, I understand that maybe bass can't see the color pink, but they're just not seeing this color. So whatever this looks like underwater, they're just not seeing it. And maybe just because of the amount of pressure that's on this body of water, these fish are gonna key in on it because it looks like something different. So this is an eighth ounce net head from Guggen Squad that Dylan let me borrow. And then I've got my drop shot rig set up. So let's see if we can't catch some big bass on these pink lures in Lake St. Clair. Got him. What? Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, look at that first cast with this pink little little trooper and uh yeah little guy but uh it's gonna be an absolute fire day stay tuned for more i want to show you how i'm making these uh little troopers pink with the pink spike and dye so first thing you want to do is open it up you want to put them on the hook Pretty straightforward. And then what I've been doing with both these and my flatworms is I just dip it straight in the dye on the hook. Makes it a lot easier, less mess. Drop them in, it's real quick. So just like that, that's how I make a pink little trooper. Fish. There's another one down there. Yeah, I see it. Yep. Another one on the pink Ned rig. Another giant. Last but certainly not least. If you like using um, Berkeley flatworms, now is the best time to get these because getting these baits in the middle of summer when the smallmouth bite is hot and heavy 
it's really hard to do. So I picked up one, two, three, four, I think four packs of the 3.6 inch, the smaller ones. And then I got two packs of the four and a quarter inch, a little bit bigger profile. And I picked up white and I also picked up black. And the reason why I picked up black real quick is I like this because it looks more like a leech or lamprey, which is a big, a, a big, a big bait that we have here in Michigan for smallmouth. But you know, I obviously picked up the pink or the white ones because I dye these pink. And um, it might be hard to believe this, but big smallmouth bass absolutely love a pink flatworm. And let me show you this fish catch or a couple fish catches from this past summer where Dylan and I went to Lake St. Clair. And I was throwing these Berkeley pink flatworms. Well, they're white now, but I dye my pink spike at dye and absolutely train wrecking some giant smallmouth. So check this out real quick. I think I've been, be yeah, I think I've been there once. Fish. Pink trap shot. I don't, he feels big. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, he's a big block. On. A block dog. oh, geez. Oh my gosh, it's a giant, dude. It's an absolute giant. On the pink drop shot. Get your drop shot out of the way if you don't mind, please. Oh my gosh. On the pink on. on the pink drop shot. Holy buckets. These bass, these freaking they small. Bomb, they love these big ones love pink. There, now there's no denying it. Jeez, dude. <laughs> oh, I have the underwater shot of the pink, too. Dude, I just don't, like, if you look at the average of the fish we've caught. Yeah, the big ones have all been coming on pink. Seriously. It's all wrapped yeah. up. Last but not least, can't forget to talk about the Berkey, Berkey Slobber Knocker. So I got a chance to use this actually iCast uh, last year before I actually was able to purchase some. And uh, you guys know I love pink bladed jigs, but this Berkey Slobber Knocker is absolutely a game changer. The sound of this blade and how this bait works through this heavier grass uh, works really, really good. Um, when you get into the really tall standing vegetation, like pencil reeds or just reeds, I tend to use a swim jig more because it, it swims through those reeds better. But if I'm fishing submerged grass or a big grass flat or a little, just a little bit of standing grass or uh, structure, I'll throw the uh, Berkeley slobber knocker. So hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick breakdown and unboxing of all these baits I'm going to be using this year. If you guys have any suggestions or you guys want me to show how I rig these baits, or you know maybe break down the techniques where I'm fishing these baits. Let me know. Leave a leave a comment down there in the comment box. Hey everybody, I'm actually editing the video right now for this tackle warehouse giveaway, and I want to make it super simple. So all you've got to do is you've got to subscribe to Blue Jays, Blue Jays Outdoors in the comment section. Just say subscribe. This giveaway is going to run for one week. It's going to run from today, Sunday, March 12th, until Sunday, March 19th. Shortly thereafter that week, I'm going to just randomly go through the comments, select uh, one of the comments where it says subscribed. If I see that you are subscribed to Blue Jays Outdoors, you win. So super simple. So again, if you want to win a Tackle Warehouse shirt, hat, and pink flatworms, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel in the comment section of the video. Just leave subscribe and I'll do the rest. So really do appreciate all your support. Thanks for watching and good luck during the giveaway.